Hello, and welcome to the Bellhops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, we are answering the question, can Mo, can I beat the solo scenario for the Saw class in Gloomhaven? So right away I'm mentioning a class that is not one of the core game classes and I'm talking about a scenario from this book, the Solo Scenarios book, which some people got off Kickstarter, you can buy online, or you can just get the PDF, which is the most easy way to get through this. Obvious spoilers, um, I'm going to be playing the Saw class. You're going to get to see Saw class cards, you're going to get to see the Solo Scenario. If you haven't tried this one yourself, um, feel free to check out our other videos here on YouTube or join us next Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, where hopefully we will be streaming a four-player Gloomhaven. Our normal Gloomhaven campaign is four players, but people are busy this week, so I figured this was my chance to try the Saw solo scenario. So now, assuming those of you who are still here are not worried about spoilers, my guess is you've probably tried this scenario and you're wondering how I'm going to do compared to how you did, probably worse. Um, we're going to get on with it. So again, I'm Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, our main thing is we are trying to be a Dear Abby for gamers, answering your game and game night questions, as well as just covering all things in the tabletop industry. For questions, you can send those to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. So if you're looking for board game recommendations, you want to know what the great games to bring on a date night, or you're shopping for your kids for Christmas, and you have questions, send those to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Or head over to the webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop at the top of the page. Today, though, if we were answering a question, it's how bad is Moa playing the Sawbones in Gloomhaven? So I am a level 8 Sawbones in this game, which I think is going to make this scenario a little bit more difficult than I was hoping. Um, I've already set up my deck beforehand. I have read the intro to the scenario because I kind of had to to be able to set it up to get all this stuff out. It's a definitely an interesting scenario. I have not drawn my personal goals for this mission yet. I didn't have any shopping to do before going out. Um, I've shuffled all my decks. I've got my items that I've chosen. Um, the items I have are leather armor, eagle eye goggles, winged shoes, which I think are probably going to be the most important one for this scenario, tower shield, which actually doesn't matter, but there's no reason not to bring it, a major healing potion, which again isn't going to matter this scenario, the moon earring, which I think is also going to be vital, a minor and a major stamina potion. Um, as for which cards I brought, you know what, I'll go through these for anyone who has played a, um... A sawbones, just so you know what deck I went with. I have First Aid, Curative Mixture, Battlefield Medicine, Bedside Manor, Do No Harm. Why do I have Bedside Manor? Okay, I know why I have it. That's not, I shouldn't have brought Bedside Manor. No, I gotta get rid of that. Sorry, I'm adjust my deck. Do No Harm, Booster Shot. I'm trying to think if I grabbed the wrong deck here. Triage. Surgeon's Satchel, Amputate, Prescription, and Precaution. Why do I have that card? That was supposed to be in my pile of cards I did not take. So let's see what I want to put in instead. Uh, no, I definitely didn't want Teamwork. I definitely didn't want Bloody Saw. Don't want Disarm. Don't want Vaccinate. Don't want Syringe. Mm -hmm. On Vital Strike. That might be one I put in. Mobile Response, no. Hold back the pain, maybe. Hand of the Surgeon. All right, we are going to swap in Hand of the Surgeon, take out Bedside Banner. There we go. Done deal. I'm not sure what I screwed up ahead of time. So, Hand of the Surgeon, First Aid, Curative Mixture, Battlefield Medicine, Do No Harm, Brewster Shot, Triage, Surgeon's Satchel, Amputate, prescription, and precaution. So those are the cards we're going to try to do this with. I've already listed off my equipment. I'm going to take my goals. This time I'm going to share them with the camera, which I usually don't. Well, we're going to use that. Saddest. That's going to be impossible. Kill five or more enemies. And workhorse. Gain 13 or more experience points. That's possible. So I will take that. We are going to put these away. All right. There's nothing else I need to go. I have set up the first room. I generally prefer to do the exploration as we're playing. 
Um, I am watching the chat room for those of you live on Twitch. First off, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, critique of my gameplay, uh, plus if you notice if I play anything wrong, because that happens. There's no monster AI in this particular scenario, so I don't think I'll mess anything up, but you never know. It happens. Uh, despite how often we played this game, we make mistakes. Uh, it is just me tonight, so um, normally we would be playing with Tori and Kat, my wife Deanna. Deanna's sick, Tori and Kat had a other gaming obligation, family gaming obligation, so they're not here tonight. All right, we are going to start off with the scenario, which I just put my cards on top of. So again, this is from the Gloomhaven Solo scenario book, which requires you to have a character of level 5 and have had at least two characters retire, which is something we have done in our main campaign. So it requires I am a Sawbones level 5. I am level 8. My goal is to save all wounded allies. A great thunderous sound wakes you from your sleep. A calamitous noise of men shouting and earth cracking. As you leap from your bed, pull on some clothes and grab your equipment, the chaos outside only heightens. There are screams and a powerful rumble of stone and fire that shakes the ground, nearly knocking you off your feet. You race toward the disaster as fast as you can, but by the time you arrive, the immediate danger has already passed. Whatever attacked has been driven off, but they left in their wake a scene of devastating destruction. Buildings lie in ruins. Great sections of the wall have been toppled over, leaving stone and rubble scattered throughout the area. More pressing, however, is the number of dying soldiers screaming and moaning in their death throes. You immediately set to work on saving as many of them as you can. All city guards are allies to you. They do not act and have no initiative. All revealed city guards suffer one damage at the end of each round and are only considered saved and will thus stop suffering damage when fully healed. If any city guard dies, the scenario is lost. You may give the city guards medical card packs, or pack cards, in which case they immediately heal for the value on the cards. When revealed, city guard A should have damage tokens placed on them. I'm using the app for this. Will have damage tokens placed on them so that they are at health 2. City guards B should have damage tokens placed on their current hit points value of 4. And City Guards C should have damage tokens to make their current hit points value 7. All obstacles have 4 hit points. So at this point, all I see is this door and this one bleeding City Guard. So here we go. I'm going to hit the bell for our official start here. Playing solo feels weird. Talking to myself with no one else down here feels weird. Alright, the question here is do I use my boots to jump over these rocks to heal this guy right away? Or do I save the boots for later? I am thinking saving the boots for later is going to be the most useful. I think we're going to start off with a hand of the surgeon to destroy the rocks. It's a four, so as long as I don't draw a negative one or a null or anything worse, that'll destroy the obstacle. Then I just need a move. Now what card do I want to burn as a move? What do I don't want to burn that one? That's for sure. I need to get the Gloomhaven Helper app up. So he has two health. I need to heal him seven. I'm going to have to heal him eight next round. Ouch. Ouch. I'm not sure how I can heal him eight next round. Maybe I do need to move to him right away. No, nope, this will work. That's with that. Okay. That's next round. That's heal him eight. That's easy. What about the rest of this round? Okay, I don't think I need my heal seven. I can probably short rest to get that back. Nope, someone's posting as me. What would be, what would be an epic opening? Me failing is, is walk up and I can't get past the rocks and I lose. Like you would, right? If you didn't get past the rocks on the first turn, it'd be over. Because the guy's going to bleed at the end of the turn. Oh, I can't delete it because I'm, like, I can't moderate myself. No, I can't. Oh, well. No big deal. 
<laughs> All right, we're going to use precaution for the bottom just as a move too, because I don't have to move very far. So here we go, round one. I, I'm going to hit draw. I don't know, is there any reason for me to hit draw? I don't think there's any reason for me to hit draw. Because we're not actually tracking rounds. Is there a way to track rounds on Gloomhaven Elfer? That could be very useful later. All right, so first off, I move up one. Then I'm going to attack four against the rubble. The rubble is destroyed. I gain one experience point. And then this guy bleeds one. So far, so good. Then I already got these cards picked out. We are going to Surgeon Satchel combined with a booster shot. To move, oh, do I want to move right into the door? No, because the guys in the next room will start bleeding immediately. So I'm just going to move two. And then hand him a medical pack. Here you go, buddy. And that heals him four. Tiny number below draw. I can't even see that. All right, that heals him there, and then Booster Shot heals him another four, which gets him up to his max of nine. He is healed. I don't know what I should do with him to show he's healed, but he's healed. He's taken care of. We'll take him off the map. He is healed. Now what? Um, yeah, I'm playing Gloomhaven solo. Oh, I didn't zoom in. Uh, the Gloomhaven solo scenario for the Sawbones. Okay, we're going to go with this. And this. And I think we'll probably have some short rest coming. Alright, this time I'm going to remember to zoom. Alright, so the cards I chose are Do No Harm and Curative Mixture. Do No Harm is going to be my move. I move one, we open the door. This is here. Let me see. Make this into one big room. Whoops. Then what we got? This is part I don't know what I'm gonna do with what we get. Like that. And we've got we'll just put an order right there. Number two. Number three. Number four, five, and one. That's pretty useful. Probably leave it zoomed in. Yeah, I probably could. I don't think you need to see my ugly mug while I'm doing this. I'm thinking. Door there. That door has a one on it. Like, I have to read something when I get there. So, you know what? There. We got a A. Give me a one. No, a one. Okay, I realize it's not the red symbol, but it worked. A one. So, the A guys come into play. Well, so number one isn't really dead, but he's gone. So now the A guys which is number two, comes into play with two health. So I had to do seven damage to him. Then the B guy, which is over here, is number three, comes into play with four health. That's a little easier. I only have to heal him five. Then the C guys come into play with seven health. There are three of those, and I used one, four, and five. Four and five. And they each have seven health. So they don't even need two health, but two healing, but I gotta heal them all. Oh yeah, that is where we stand. Nothing new to read. So what did I do? Well, I was on the door. I still got a movement left. We're going to move there. Uh, then we are going to heal him four. Sorry, heal him three. So this is number two. One, two, three. And then we're going to heal him another three, which is not enough. I wonder if I could have done something better. Now that I know he was here. If I'd done this. So if I'd done this instead. I probably screwed that up right there. Oh well. 
one, two, three. One away. And I gain one XP. Should have got him in one round. That's going to hurt. Then everyone takes one damage. That is going to hurt. Okay, I think it's Major Stamina Potion time to get two of these cards back. Doesn't really matter which card I get back. So we'll take this one because it gives me XP. And we'll take this one. Think about this. So we're gonna see if we're gonna do this. That'll heal him. I'm gonna use boots. So can't get both of them. So one, two, three, we'll go here. Four, heal him four. Does that cure him? Three plus four is only at seven. So no. Oh well, it's gonna have to do. Alright, we're gonna try this. Okay, so we're going to start off with Curative Mixture to heal this guy 3, which will take him out. That's number 2, is now healed up to full. He's good. That gives me an XP, which is good. Hey, if I get a perk out of this, it'll be something. Uh, then we are going to use Winged Shoes to jump over this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and hand him a Medical Pack, which will heal him 4. And these are gone. Then everyone takes one damage. Oh, I would love to heal those four this turn. I might go heal those guys first and come back for this guy. Can I heal him before I move? On the bottom. No, I don't have a heal then move. Damn. <laughs> I only need to move two. I think I'm going to have to come back for number three here. Don't need that. Need this for these guys. Alright, we need that. I don't have a heal then move in my discard, I don't think either. It's all move then heal. I need them in the opposite order. <laughs> How would I save prescription? We heal this guy with this. We use this as a move too. Then next turn I'll do that. Alright, change of plans. Alright, instead. No, nope, that's not going to work. Yeah, well, it's just a burning card. I'm just burning a card. All right, start off. Heal this guy with first aid. So here you go, dude. Medic back, Mr. Three. That makes you feel great. Body massage. Uh, which, of course, I learned from. Plus one. Okay, then I'm just moving. So I can be next to all these guys. Done. They'll take damage, which is perfectly fine. Because I know what I'm doing. Really. Because. Do I want to burst through the door? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. Alright, we're doing this. I'm going to short rest anyway at the end of this. Or I could long rest. I'd get my winged boots back if I long rest. And there's no reason not to long rest at the end of this. I think I'm going to long rest right before going through the door. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter which card I use here. Okay. Sure. Alright. Prescription time. 
Large medical packs, healing eight, each of you. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Large medical packs. That does burn this card. But getting rid of three guys, healing everyone in the room, I think it's well worth it. One, two, three. All done. Room two, complete, no problems. Uh, then I'm going to move through, just so I'm close to the door. Next round at long rest, that'll get my boots back, and I gotta decide what to lose. What do I want to lose? The other give out a large medical pack? I have a feeling I'm gonna need that one. <laughs> Definitely need that. This is my bottom give out a medical pack is probably. <sighs> now, you know what? I'm going to get rid of hand of the surgeon, which is what I used to get through that first boulder. Since I got my boots back, I think we're good. Oh, I think you're right. Good catch. Good catch. Thank you. Yeah, the large medical packs was a, was a bottom. You are correct. I could have given them all. A top action would have been give the normal medical packs. But that wouldn't have been enough to heal them, I don't think. Uh, where'd it go? It's burned. Let's double check. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh, I get 2 XP too, though. I missed that. See, at least I hurt myself at the same time. One, two... All right, let's double check something. Could I have gotten away with a large medical pack there? They were all at four. No, that one only got them to eight. Unless I had, if I had gotten triage out, it might have worked. So no, we will stick with that. I'm just not quite as far along as I thought. Okay. Um. All right, we're going to go with booster shot and triage. Hmm. All right, move five. One, two, three. Nope, not that way. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Good, I can reach a guy. All right, all kinds of rubble and garbage in this stupid room. There and there. This big one right here. Nope, little one. Little one. Or over there. Oh, not quite like that. And there. And then where do these ones go? Oh, just from the first room, which I left. That's fine. Oh, I destroyed them. That's right. Okay, that threw me off for a second. Like, why do I have extra? All right. Yuck. Here, mm. there's a two, there's a two, two with a two, three is a C. Yuck, I just wore it away. Four is a C. There's no five. All right, no five, and I'll elite. Okay, you get closer to the ruined wall and see nothing but more devastation. The rubble has buried many men here, including a gravely wounded lieutenant moaning for help through blood-filled lungs. You grimly resolve to save them all, of course. The elite city guard is the lieutenant and has hit points times three, where H is an elite city guard's regular hit point value. 
I'm going to have to try to figure out how to put that on the thing. Place damage tokens on him for not doing that. So he's going to have four health left. Ouch! <sighs> he suffers damage and saves the same manner as the other city guards. In addition, begin tracking the rounds. With the current round being one. If he's not saved by the end of the tenth round, the scenario is lost. Yuck. Yuck. I, this isn't looking good now. I don't even know. All right. So elite lieutenant. It's number six. So he has 30. I got to heal him 30? Jesus. So is there a way to set this to higher? Like I had done it. How did we figure out how to do that? We had figured out a way to adjust the max hit points. Here. Here it is. Thirty, but he's down to four. Jesus, ugh. Oh yeah, down to four. Then we got number one is a B. Bees have four. Yep, bees have four. And then number two, three, and four each have seven. All right, what a mess. I have two moves left and a heal four, which will get him to eight, not nine. Damn it, I need heal fives. Bruh. I wonder if I should have used uh, triage. That's triage. Go up the next. Man, I can't. Hmm. How the hell am I gonna jump over all this crap? I was here, so one, two, three, four, five. I can get next to this guy. And I heal him four. Zoom in. Hmm. If only they were lower level. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to do So we're going to heal him. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I should do next. Then we head over to number two. Number two, if I heal him four, we'll be done. So if I heal him three, will he be done? Yes. But I'm going to have to use my damn jump boots. Yeah, I don't know. All right, uh, we'll do this. I don't know if it's going to work out. So I heal three, number one. Gets me an XP. Then I winged boots. One, two, three, four. Over to this guy and heal him three. Would do no harm. Which gets rid of him. And we are on round two. I need to track that somehow. In this room. Then everyone takes one damage. How the hell am I going to hear 30? Seriously. I gotta walk up and smash an obstacle. Huh.
This will be round three. Need to be able to fly to do this mission. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna need to get over obstacles twice. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can move and smash one obstacle now so that I can get back and forth easier later. <sighs> Fuck. Or do I worry about that later and go heal four now? Four just needs four healing. If I waste the time, turn. Yeah, four only needs four healing. That'll get his healing. That's done. This will heal four. And then what do I do with my top? Nothing? Oh, I can smash an object. But none of those are really good ones to I need a move five. I don't have a move five. A move five, I could get on the rubble and heal the guy and then smash an object just because. In the meantime, is three gonna die? No. Ugh, man. Okay, we'll see. Round three, we're gonna use the moon earring to get back the boots, use the boots, move one, two, three, four, and hand him a medical pack with surgeon's satchel, which will take him out. Or sorry, to heal him. Then he takes one. He takes one. We're going to move four large medical packs on the guy. <sighs> Otherwise, he's going to die. So, one, two, three, four. Large medical pack heals eight. This is the next round. Next round. get a short rest. Long rest, I don't think is safe, is it? I would get the boots back. Would I get the earring back? No, the earring's a discard, right? No. Or should I minor stamina? Because that's what I want to use on him. I want to use that. And if I minor stamina... Oh, that's the card we need to attack. All right, short rest. <sighs> I need that, so I'm going to take a health. <sighs> I don't think I can spend a second health, right? I think I'm stuck with the second option. Because I heard, there goes my large medical pack. Five more. So we're doing that. And we're doing a bottom.
Okay. If they don't get through this rock, this is over. I think it's now I need to put out another one. This is round six. Sorry, we smashed the rock. No, I lost. Because of that card, I lost. I get an XP. That was bullshit. Use stamina potion to pick this back up. I heal the guy three, I guess. Damn it. All because of that. Because of one fucking draw. It's dumb. I gotta try to smash this again. It's the only thing I can do. Yeah, I don't have a move then heal. Oh, I still got one health left. No, I do have this. Okay. Damn it. Next round. I lost because of that minus two draw. Try to smash it again. There we go. Then, one, two, three. Give him a medical pack for four. In an XP. I'm actually off around. Or I'm not sure if you're telling Deanna. That's gone. Oh, I should have used eagle-eyed goggles. If I'd used eagle-eyed goggles, that would have worked. I can't heal this guy enough in enough time. Yeah, I'm off around. I only have one more round. Yeah, I have one more round. Oh, that's better than I thought. <laughs> nice. I don't think I can heal this guy 20 points, though. I need one of my movement heals back. We're going to short rest. Need that. Oh, either one. I take a damage. Okay, I got that. I got that. We'll come back for this guy. Medical, medical. Yeah, okay. These two. Alright, here we go. Next round. We're ignoring you. Moving back over two, three, three. Oh, I wish it was two. Uh, move three, then I heal him seven. And then they each take one. And these are gone. And I heal. And I heal. Next round. I'm going to be flipping close. All right, um, I heal him, seven. And then I heal him, four. He's stunned. Then they each bleed. I need to heal him, four. Boom. Even, oh, I have a heal, three. Short rest. Short rest, short rest. Okay, oh, I didn't spend the health yet. <laughs> Getting excited. Getting excited. That's a heal four. We better keep that. That's give a medical pack for XP. Yeah. Oh well, would have been better with the medical pack. Oh yeah. We just gotta heal this guy. Four more. That's easy. 
That's easy. We gonna heal on the top for four. Where's the heal on the top for four? Seriously, didn't I just draw? There it is. Heal four. Booster shot. Then I'm gonna move over and heal the other guy three. I think I got this. I think I got it. Ninth round. I immediately heal the guy four. I can't go past 30. He's done. He's done. Goodbye. Oh, I can't heal the other guy because I can't. Oh, no. Move four. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Heal three. One, two, three. Then he bleeds at the end of the round. We're not tracking rounds anymore. What do we want? How do we want to heal this guy? I think we amputate something. We got to finish off by amputating something off this guy. No, I'm going the wrong way. He doesn't die. He heals him seven. Badoom. Done. Deal. Done. Done. Four cards left. No monsters to fight. Did make one move mistake, but we did catch it. Done. Many have died, but you take solace in having saved all that you could. The lieutenant is especially grateful and commissions a special coat to be made for you. You head back to your room and, like always, the endless screams of dying men in your memories eventually gives way to a peaceful sleep. Reward the doctor's coat. Where did we put the... I think we put them in here. Is this them? I have no idea. This looks like this deck might be too big. What number was it? 148. No, this isn't them. This little stack here. No, those are map fragments. Where did we put the... After last week, I don't know where we put away the solo scenario stuff. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. Did I put them on this side? No, no. Oh, yep, I did. Right there. All right. See what it is. Temujin. So the last time I told you there was an item that makes this scenario super easily, you basically did the same thing with the jump boots and moon earring. Basically anything that lets you skip over obstacles. Yeah, it was awesome. I thought I was doomed when I hit that one and missed that one obstacle. I didn't think I was going to have enough time to come back. Wow, there's some interesting stuff in here. Spoilers. I don't really want to see all these. Oh, if I look at the other side. Uh -huh. Now I forget what number I'm looking for again. Yeah, the moon earring. I love the moon earring in general, but I usually use it on stamina potions. 148 for the doctor's coat. 148 right here. Super spoilers. Super spoilers. Oh, did I get my, um, did I earn 13 or more experience points? I don't think I did. Did I? I can't even read that. What number is that set? I don't even know if I gave myself all the XP. I honestly cannot read what that says, how much XP I got. Nine. So no, I did not get the check mark, which is fine. You still get XP for finishing it too, right? Like I get the scenario XP, which I don't remember how much that is. All right, let's look at the coat first and see what the coat is. Doctor's coat. Anytime an ally performs a medical pack or a large medical pack, they add plus one to their heal. That is pretty huge. All right, I don't need leather armor anymore. That's pretty awesome. I will be keeping that on. See, I got this for you guys. When we come back to the main campaign, see all the work I did? Now you guys all heal better because I got a shiny coat and a big sword. All right, where is the... Gloomhaven rule book. Where did I put it? Because I can't read this either. You know what? I can just expand that. How much XP? No coins. I could use coins. 12 XP. So 12 plus 9. Even though I think I missed one or two in there. 21 XP. I don't have a pencil. I will be right back.
21 XP. Four hundred and fifty total XP. I'm about to get to top level two. Alrighty. One round away from him getting there. I thought for sure I was doomed when I hit that. Okay, that's a neat scenario. 100% puzzle. All about knowing your cards. I think it really helped that my normal group, my normal four-player group, is uh, very combat-heavy in general. Uh, so I was able to do a completely heal build with my Sawbones. Almost every card I have is a healing card or a healing potion card or gives out medical packs, gives out medical packs to all characters, let people get cards back. So I think that really helped. Um, obviously, the combo of the winged boots with the uh, moon earring to be able to let me use the boots multiple times. I'm surprised I took a long rest. I didn't think that was going to be anything viable in this scenario, but it let me get one more use out of the boots. But I think it made perfect sense. There was no reason to go into this room ahead of time. That one draw of a minus two. There's not a lot of misses in this deck, but there's some. There's, what, one minus one? A miss, obviously. Wow. Yeah, my odds were, were terrible. There's only two cards in here. I could have three cards that would have made me fail. One of them would have let me get the boots back. That would have been awesome. I actually have a card that would have let me get my boots back. Yeah, with no bad guys attacking, there's definitely, this was not very random. There was some randomness because I had to draw these, but that's it. Like, there was, whether I destroyed the obstacles or not was pretty much the randomness. I think that was the only randomness. I didn't, I thought it was going to be one round away. I really did. Alrighty, so I am going to keep the stream going, but we're going to close things out here for the YouTube video. Nice early evening for me. We're not usually done Gloomhaven this early in the afternoon. It's only 9.42. That feels weird. So for YouTube, it's probably a nice short video, so I'll keep people interested. They'll, they'll, they'll be happy about that. So first off, I do want to thank everyone in the chat room, especially our guy in the chair, Tamujin. Thank you very much for correcting my one minor mistake. It wasn't a terrible one. Actually, I don't think it actually wouldn't have made a difference if I had moved already, because moving five, I don't think I would have went to another bad guy. So even if I had played through it, I don't think I would have been cheating. Um, very frustrated that I only have three bad cards in this deck, and I still drew one. Uh, that was the Sawbones solo Gloomhaven scenario successfully completed with one round to go for the Lieutenant um, at scenario level four, which I think made it hard because I was like one point away from healing everyone on the healing potion. If they all had one less hit point, all those medical packs would have healed them right away. So that took more work than I thought it would, but it seemed to have worked. A um, couple keys, I think, to the strategy here is your move and heal cards. I have two move and heal cards. And then having stamina potions to be able to get those back. And of course the jumping ability. So you've got Surgeon Satchel, which is a level seven card, it's huge. It's move four and then give someone a medical pack. And then the other one I think goes do no harm is the other one, because I use that one all the time. Yeah, do no harm is a move four, heal three. Those two really helped in this scenario, because it let me heal someone to move and heal someone else. And they were heals on the bottom, so I could move over next to someone, heal them with the bottom half my card and with the top. Got a neat item. Um, it means, yet again, I'm going to have to stay away from combat, because now I'm not going to have the leather armor. Um, I still failed to use my eagle eye goggles. I should, like, tape them on top of my forehead or something so I remember, because I forget that when we're normally playing. Like, I would have totally destroyed that obstacle, but it wouldn't have made it. I would have been more frustrated with myself had I failed. Since I didn't fail, it's okay. Silly Mo, you forgot something. So again, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can catch our content all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MeWe, a uh, bunch of other lesser known social media sites. Hit me up anywhere. Hit me up with gaming questions. Ask me for game recommendations or just chat and hang out. Check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, for all kinds of awesome video content, including our live recording of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. If you'd rather listen to that, check your local podcatcher. On that, we answer your gaming and game night questions. As I said at the top of the show, you can send those to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. If you head over to tabletopbellhop.com, all this stuff's there. Reviews, news, articles, links to other podcasts, links to other streamers, all kinds of cool stuff. And now that it's nearing the holidays, check out our gamer gift guides. And if you're listening to this after the holidays, I'm sure there's some holidays or a birthday coming up, so it'll still be of interest to you. 
Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.